to that in church. Well, how is everybody doing? We found out that you've been to worship service. How are you? And um, now we're in a Bible study. Mm -hmm. Can't get enough, huh? And um, Great. we've been teaching on uh, spirit, soul, and body. Mm -hmm. And we found out our Master Texas, uh, First Thessalonians 5.23, uh, it says, may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. You know, he added something else in here in um, that verse that I think is important for us to know. Mm -hmm. He said in the 24th verse, he who calls you is faithful, mm -hmm. who also will do it. Mm -hmm. So this is God himself going to do it. And we found out when we went to Proverbs 20, 27, mm -hmm. it said the spirit of a man is a lamp of the Lord, searching all the inner depths of his heart. So our spirit is a lamp unto the Lord. Now when you look at um, John the fourth chapter, mm -hmm. the 24th verse, it tells us that God is spirit. Mm -hmm. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. So if we're trying to communicate with God, mm -hmm. we must communicate Him with spirit and spirit. Probably need to say. And He's talking him. about that spirit of man. He said uh, is a lamp of the Lord, mm -hmm. searching all the inner depths of the heart. Mm -hmm. So God is a spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Mm -hmm. So we're made in the image of God. Mm -hmm. And when you receive Christ as your Savior, your spirit is created brand new. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's just like if I was waiting on a call mm -hmm. from one of y'all, I wouldn't be standing by the refrigerator or my car mm. where there's no phone at mm. and waiting on a call from you. I, I wouldn't get it, right? That's right. That's right. So if we want to hear from God, we have to have our spirit man ready to listen mm. to what God is saying. And the way we get our spirit man strong is through his word. That's right. As Jesus says in John 6, 63, he says the spirit who gives life, mm -hmm. it is the spirit who gives life. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the flesh profits nothing. Mm -hmm. And then he says the words that I speak unto you are spirit and they are life. So we need to listen to his word then, right? No, you see, that's John 6, 63. Now, a lot of people say, well, I don't know if I got the Spirit in me. Mm. But in Acts, the second chapter, the 38th verse, this is what Peter said. Then Peter said to them, repent. If you repent, that means if you change your way of thinking, change what you were doing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So we have our own spirit, and we also have the Holy Spirit in us. That's right. But what we don't do enough is exercise our spirit. Mm -hmm. We don't step out on faith. Mm -hmm. Go with me to Proverbs, the third chapter. Because what we want to do is be spirit-led and not led by anything else. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I noticed when I got up this morning, all these thoughts was hitting my mind about 
what's going on in our family and well how about this and how about that and I had to tell my mind just shut up right be quiet you know and then I turned to the word and got some word in me I, yeah just and, stop um, all of that I know Proverbs the third chapter tells us something here in the fifth verse it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Mm -hmm. So that stopped all their thoughts mm -hmm. just come right off. Mm -hmm. And I start trusting God. You see? Trusting the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. So we're not supposed to be mind led. That's right. Because when them thoughts hit your mind, you say, well, I don't. Maybe I should go to another church this morning, or maybe I shouldn't go to Bible study, or maybe I should eat this for breakfast, or maybe I should, you, you know, and you're not spirit-led because um, God is the spirit, and he has the Holy Spirit inside us, and the Holy Spirit wants to lead us into all truth. Because a lot of times we put our mind on things that don't mean nothing. Well, you know what helps me with that, mm -hmm. like you said, waking up in the morning, and like you said, your mind can be here there, but then I said, wait a minute, Lord, you was with me when I wasn't conscious of being awake. Yeah, you're taking care of mm -hmm. Right, and so I said, so my mind needs to be on you right now, anyway, opposed to all these other things, and thanking him, you know, and saying, Lord, you've laid this day out. And I know it wasn't for me to worry because I prayed to you about right. these things. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I want to walk in your freedom. But we, like you said, we have to know that we're accountable. And like we say, God has blessed me. But then if he blessing me, then I don't even need to be worrying about all, all right. of these. You know, well, thinking about it trying it to plan. in the next verse. Here in the Proverbs 3, that sixth verse, it says, In all your ways acknowledge him, yeah. and he shall direct your path. So that means all of our problems and real concerns. All your ways. Because a lot of times people ways. say, yeah, but you praying and stuff, but this stuff is real. But, we, but God is real. He's more real than all of these things because this stuff is going to go well, away. Well, you know, I think we all uh, he's got a plan. miss it. Because we don't ask God about everything. Mm -hmm. We say, well, I've done that before. I mean, I got up, I cooked eggs and bacon and bricks. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I got I, this. I, you know, <laughs> then we do that, you know, with going to work. I, well, I know my way to work. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been going this no, way for 10 years. Don't have no years. control over none of that. And, and you know, we're like in an automatic mode. Mm -hmm. And we're not asking God for something. Not then it says in the next verse, it says, do not be wise. Mm -hmm. in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Mm -hmm. For, and it says, it will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Mm -hmm. Nerves and everything. Strength to awesome. your bones. Mm -hmm. Health. Health is like medicine. Right. In the medicine. Hebrew, mm -hmm. that's what it means. Health is in Hebrew medicine. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and this Bible that I have, it, it, it goes to the bones, the nerves, the sueys and muscles, you know, anything that can affect your body mm -hmm. cause you to be paralyzed or have mm -hmm. muscle, muscular dystrophy or mm -hmm. um, sinus problems in your, in your head mm -hmm. and your muscles are acting right. He just take care of your whole body mm -hmm. and it says all your inner parts so that means your heart and your lungs right. and you, you, you just take so your order all over for that to happen mm -hmm. it will be health to your to your flesh and strength to your bones that we have to do something mm -hmm. we can't be mind led no mm -hmm. and I, I like it uh, the way God put it to um uh to the Pharisee, Nicodemus, in that yeah. third verse, he said, um, in the third chapter, third verse, he said, Jesus answered him, and I assure you, most solemnly say to you, unless a person is born again, mm -hmm. reborn from above, spiritually transformed and renewed and sanctified, 
he cannot ever see. See, we we see through the spirit and experience the kingdom of God. Mm, and that's what, got, what Carter is saying. Now we got to be led by the spirit so we can actually see mm -hmm. and actually experience what God has given us. Mm -hmm. But we just routinely do it over and over and, and doing things our way we don't experience go with me and to then the, you're not glorifying to not the fourth, with your lips with your heart the fourth chapter here you're, you're in the action. book of proverbs go yeah. to the fourth chapter he is our this king. type of uh, what we're talking about he here is, is all king. through the book of proverbs mm -hmm. right it's all through the psalms mm -hmm. right they talk about you know um trusting yes. god yeah we have to trust it and Proverbs, the fourth chapter, the fourth verse, says, He also taught me and said to me, Let your heart retain my words. That's right. Keep my commandments and mm -hmm. live. Mm -hmm. So his words have a lot to do yeah. with everything we do. We have to trust and believe. And then he word. says, he says in the fifth verse, Get wisdom. Get understanding. Mm -hmm. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. That's mm -hmm. right. So God is talking to us all the time. His words mean something. He's talking to us mm -hmm. through our spirit. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And, words are going to do what and the Holy Spirit is saying, Amen. <laughs> you know what I'm I saying? Know, that's, that was it, huh? yeah. Right, when you look at the 10th verse of this 4th chapter, mm -hmm. he says again, Hear, my son, and receive my sayings. Right. Mm -hmm. And the years of your life will be many. Now, mm -hmm. God talks about this. We right. listen to him and what he's saying to us. And, and we trust him that mm -hmm. our days here on earth will be many. Mm -hmm. Now, I know when you go to Psalm 90, it tells you it should be, what, 70, 80 years? That's mm -hmm. what Moses wrote in that psalm. Mm -hmm. But he was not talking about us. He was talking about the people in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, they say, well, I'm only going to be here 70, 80 years. Well, if you said it, mm -hmm. the scripture says what you say with your mouth and believe in mm -hmm. your heart, mm -hmm. you're going to have that. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not speaking. saying that. I'm saying the days of my life is 120 years, and I get that from Genesis 6 chapter. But that's like because he said my spirit would not fight with us all the time. Mm -hmm. That's Amen. like me and Steve. We have nice right. going for a lot of years. Because a lot of times we can say things with our mouth, and what we're saying is what the world is saying. We're not saying what God is saying. we got to say God's words. Mm -hmm. Amen. And see, that's where we all get messed up. Mm -hmm. Now, here in the 10th verse, did I read that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now go to the 18th verse of this uh, Proverbs 4th chapter, the 18th verse. He says here, But the path of the just is like the shining sun, that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. So once you're walking in this light that God has given us, it, it's supposed to get brighter and brighter. That's what scripture are you asking? This is the Proverbs 4, 18. Oh, okay. It's supposed to get brighter and brighter. Mm -hmm. But he says, the way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. See, the wicked don't believe the word of God. No. Mm -hmm. They despise the word of God. Mm -hmm. They say it ain't no God. Right. And, and that's what he was telling Nicodemus that he couldn't see. You know, he was he couldn't see because he hadn't been reborn again. Amen. And that's what he said. You'd be able to see and uh experience the kingdom of God, you know, when you reborn. Well, here's what it says in the next verse. He says, my son, give attention to my words, incline your ears to my saying. Yes. Now, we would say, pay attention, mm -hmm. not give attention. Mm -hmm. you know, this is the new King, King James I'm reading out today. My son, pay attention. But George the Amplified says, pay attention. Mm -hmm. Mine does, too. So he's fine. saying that we should pay attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To his word. That's right. Mm -hmm. And listen to what he is saying. Mm -hmm. 
It says, do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them. Right. And health to all their flesh. Right. A lot of times we can read the word of God, but we're not paying attention to what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, today we have so many distractions, yeah. you know, bless our little heart. Mm -hmm. And the devil has used these good inventions that we have uh, invented with electronics. Yeah, and, just, and he's using them for evil. Yeah, right. Like, I have a cell phone. Mm -hmm. And I use my cell phone to talk to people, mm -hmm. you know, to get emails and texts and all of that. Mm -hmm. And I also I have a Bible app on there mm -hmm. that I can pull up the Word of God if I'm waiting for an appointment or something and, and you know, mm -hmm. listen to his words, see what he's saying to me. Yeah. But what we do, we get distracted real easy. Mm -hmm. We have a what do you call it? A little attention span when right. it comes you get to, to God. Until they encourage sometimes. Right. And <laughs> the, you know, and, and the see, mm -hmm. yeah. the enemy right. knows yeah. this, yeah. so yeah. what he wants to do is keep distracting you. Mm -hmm. You bombard it with and so your, much information. And your spirit mm -hmm. inside of you is saying, pay attention to his words. Right. right. I was going to say, even when you read the word or something, and I know sometimes I say, oh, I'm going to take a picture of this so I can look at it. The Holy Spirit will be like, mm-mm, just focus. Or sometimes mm -hmm. you may want to send something to someone, mm -hmm. something to inspire. And you're like, because mm -hmm. it's for us to read it. Well, we're in this it. day, you know, to not get distracted by all of our You know, things. I have a cell phone, too. Mm -hmm. And I notice I'll be sometimes studying the Word and mm -hmm. reading the uh, the word mm -hmm. and a notification will go off. That too, yeah. And I have to restrain myself from looking, mm -hmm. from seeing this is an email, is it something with? <laughs> I tr I had to train myself not to be led by a phone. Right, mm -hmm. we have to. Yeah, or anything else. Or anything else. Yeah. Yeah. So but we live in this generation. I think today. when we have to. Realize we're not really humble ourselves because the Lord is the one allowing us to be in His presence. So we're to treat that with, you know, as real precious. And so that's why we can get, well, right. you know, for, kind of forget. It's like, it's not about, oh, I'm going to go read my Bible. It's like, Lord, you're allowing me to read your word. Well, what we're looking at here, if you really look at what we've been looking at, mm -hmm. It's about long life. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I, I, that's and health. I end, and being mm -hmm. health. Being health. The healthy. Mm -hmm. You know, because it says in that um, verse 22, for right. they are life to those who find them and mm -hmm. health to all their flesh. Mm -hmm. Is it hard to find what's going on in and, the Word of God? No, it isn't. And what I love about that, uh, Pastor, is that it is like to us his word, but see if they don't read the word and know it, they don't they don't realize that his word is what keeps us healthy. Yeah, that's right. They're busy the listening and paying attention to uh, professionals, maybe doctors or what have you, and they tell them you you got so many years to live, or you got this going on in your brain, or this is going on in your heart, and uh, it's nothing we can do. But we see the word of God can heal us. Mm -hmm. It's his word that keeps our inner parts right. Mm -hmm. Well, when you look at it, I've um, known personally we had plenty of people who like had read in the first Proverbs, we had to have not lean to our own understanding, but they trust they them all our heart. Now, there's, there's a thing. verse in Proverbs 17 22. So trust in and Proverbs 17 22, 22 tells us, A merry heart does good like medicine. Yeah, it does. You said you had joy too. Right. A merry heart Press. is good no. like medicine. Mm -hmm. Sick, you know. But a broken spirit dries up the bones. Right, I did something wrong. What word you Proverbs, reading? Proverbs uh, 17, 22. Oh, that, that's exactly How right. does that read on Amplified? Uh, it reads, a happy heart is good medicine. Mm. And a joyful mind causes healing. You know, you're not all depressed and everything. But a broken spirit dries up the bones. See, there, there's no uh, connection with the Lord. And, so then, and what are y'all? What you're saying too is that when we're in the Word, you, you, depression and all of those things are real. 
God is the one who goes says that He can transform those. So he he's not to have faith He's not saying he has this and him. He said no, only him. Only him. And I think a lot of times people may think, well, yeah, but only God. Because it's like, well, wait, we're talking about God. And then it's not about beating anybody up about it. It's just that all we can do is ask them to read people. And even on well, our so own you know, selves, it's not telling like, other people to do what we shouldn't do our own they selves. Have, they had to we all need to do what we're sharing with other people to do. They had to believe and, and then they pick. also had to tell God when their when their belief is when they when, are, family, when they when worry and still and they have an unbelief they had to play to God. Yeah, pray to God about right. that and say, Lord, I'm, I'm sinning against you because uh, here I am um not trusting your word as you have told me to and I'm I'm worrying and I need you to help me. Mm -hmm. And uh the Lord hears you and you being That's honest right. and truthful about it. Mm -hmm. You're not telling him, Oh, I do have faith. No, you're telling him, No, mm -hmm. your faith is is not working and you're ashamed right. and you, you ask him to forgive you. He'll, he'll let you be distracted in a good way. Right. And show you things in your life. Because mm -hmm. you can see you have a Holy Spirit. He'll be, show you how he's helped you so many times mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. And that builds you up. And before you know it, you're smiling and laughing and mm -hmm. you're saying, Lord, I know you got this. I'm a, Lord, forgive me. I said, I do have faith because you brought me through too far. For me to just and even then, like the what and what you all so you saying repent. That he, because, because that's the Holy Spirit in us. The yeah. Holy Spirit is the yeah, teaching, he's guide he's us, he's and guide us, and remind us. So we're never by he's, ourselves. No, when we're repenting, he's redirecting right your mind because your mind is what's all messed up. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed yeah, to be everything. Yeah, soul dead. That's your yeah, you call the soul the mind part. Yeah, you be thinking. You're not supposed to be body dead. Mm-hmm. Say what? Huh? I said you know, I have totally live. different experiences than that. I don't never tell God I'm sinning against you because I'm worried. God understands that as a human being, I I'm gonna worry. When I didn't know where Walter was, mm -hmm. I was frantic as hell. Oh, I was told, about to say it. Don't. That's yeah, what I told God that I was uh, I was afraid. I'm right. frantic, and God said, mm -hmm. "I know you are." Yeah, and that's he what said, I'm "Just lean, just lean, just hold on to me in your fear." Mm -hmm. Right, and right. that's and that's what I that's what I do. Right. I say, Lord, I'm worried that uh, I'm worried about doing this paper for school. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm distressed. I'm anxious. And the guys that I'm gonna send the Holy Spirit in, just take one breath at a time, right. and I'm gonna guide you through it. Those are the experiences yeah. we're talking about. I'm saying yeah. I don't ever feel really like I'm sinning, sinning though. Yeah. Well, no. If when you feel like you're sinning, you're not beating yourself up. Right. That's not a beat up. I just huh? feel like I'm being human. But that's why God says He He tells us not to worry. Why would He tell us not to worry? If we're not doing it. He so he's just reassuring us. us when we do do it that we can come to him about like you do. I do but it he, too. He just explains Nobody's why. Him. Because when we worry and, and we get in that kind of condition, that's when we go down and wrap our body. Right. Our body be under attack. It is. And then the devil can and come mind. in and yeah, that flesh mind. human right. part yeah, of the us. Whole, all three be the mind, body, and soul. We be under attack. Right. And so we got to uh, recognize that and run quickly to the Lord. And, uh, now, when you look at it, uh, let him know. And here's, what, strengthen you. here's what we got to learn to do. No, not to feel guilty. We have to guilty. learn to stand on the Word of God. Yeah, now, we ha also have to know when to pray and when to say. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. a lot of stuff we're praying about that we can say to that mountain, whatever it is right. in your life. Right, it says that in Mark. Right? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all, are y'all aware then, of that? Is that what God yes. is saying too? Don't have any other gods before him. So, I've experienced it personally as well. When he's talking about your real physical pain that you know you're in, or someone else I've experienced too that was close to this physically in pain. But when we Turn when and, and the more that this person was turned away from God, they wasn't saying they were the more pain they had. The more pain and right. distress, and the Lord was just letting me know about death. And I was like, Lord. And so, and when the time came when there was a, a turnover, 
-hmm. and unexpected for that person turnover, mm -hmm. not because their pain stopped, mm -hmm. but a turnover in their heart because we're yeah, to pray for one another. You don't have to tell yeah. nobody, oh, mm -hmm. you're not doing this. You just no. silently and quietly pray, but listen to right. the Spirit. That's what you do. And then that particular day, when there was like a, a turnover, just the Lord was doing it, oh, and I was scary. reading, the, yeah, the, and, and I was reading the word. That's when the person confessed out of months um, of, of whatever. He said, You know what? My faith has really been weak. I mm -hmm. haven't been trusting mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I said, the Lord, that's the death you was talking about. Right. So He wants us to die to ourselves and right. our own stuff that we're really no. going through, and so that because our faith will just stop. but we also supposed to be praying for one another. Sometimes can't you can't pray for yourself. You're going through all kind of stuff. Order to right. be praying for one another. To do right. anything to do in our life. You want to pray sometimes. Let's, let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's zero in on this word. Mm -hmm. And order. I mean, we have a lot of things that we have experienced in life. Mm -hmm. And what we have done. And you know what? God has had mercy on us. Because he, he knows that we're children. Right. right. He does have mercy. And he has mercy on us and he will let certain things happen. Mm -hmm. But what we want to be is be completely go to go to Romans. Yeah, the eighth to chapter. We, here's what it says. And we have to we have to rely on his word for what to do. Right, we do. Yeah, he tell us to. And um, you know, and um a lot of times we think that we are doing what God wants us to do, but we're not. Well, what we're being I've disobedient, but just hold on, because a lot of times it's, God has already told us what to do, mm -hmm. either that day, that old or that yeah. week, or that month, or or, or that Here's year, he has already told you right. what, yeah. what, what you got to do. Right. And then... One of the saints comes to you and says, pray for me. And what it tells us in James, the fifth chapter, mm -hmm. if anybody is afflicted, let him pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. if they are sick and can't pray for themselves, right. then we're supposed to pray well, Some be mentally sick. They may look healthy, but some do. Right. So you but let's, let's look at this right. because mm -hmm. one reason why I believe people are mentally ill, when you look at... Um, Romans the 8th chapter here, it tells us in the 5th verse, for those who are living according to the flesh, mm -hmm. set their minds on the things of the flesh. That's, That's right. what the guy was telling me That's this right. morning. That's what happened. To get your mind off of the flesh. Right. Get your mind off of all of that. The body. Because the body can have you feeling that's right. Some kind of way, and that's not what, that's not that's, God's best. For it you. is. I mean, you can be feeling sorry for somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. You can be feeling they hurt. You can yeah. be feeling their pain. Mm -hmm. But He's saying, get your mind off of that flesh. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Get your mind off of it. And He says, but those who live according to the Spirit, mm -hmm. the things of the Spirit. Right. That's right. So we have to set our mind on spiritual things, and we said that His Word is spiritual. Right. Mm -hmm. So we have to set our we have to base all our stuff on what the Word of God says. And when He tells us in Matthew the sixth chapter, we're not to worry. He don't want right. us worrying. He really doesn't. And then when we worry, we're being disobedient. Well, like Jesus He's even told the sick. disciples when He was lying in the boat, and they was you know got all upset, which it was humanly reasonable. But then Jesus said, peace be still. But then he turned and looked at them. He said, oh, you have little faith. Mm -hmm. You know, so well, he's letting us one, know that our faith in him can overcome our fear. He said, and oh, you of uh, no faith. Yeah. In Matthew 21, mm -hmm. the 21 chapter, oh, when okay. the disciples came and asked Jesus, why couldn't they cast out that demon? Deeper? Oh, yeah. He said, because of your unbelief. Unbelief, Unbelief yeah. is having no faith. Yeah. A lot of us, you know, I believe God is so merciful unto us because mm -hmm. there was a time in my life that I didn't even know what faith was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was reading his word of God. I was going to church, going to Bible study, taking the kids to different, you know, programs in church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I really didn't understand that I actually 
had to put all my focus on what his word is saying. That's yes. right, because you put it on yourself. Then because you your I'm a man, mm -hmm. I might make a mistake in what I'm right. saying, but his word is true. It's the truth. Right. There is no error at all in his word. Whatsoever. And a lot of times we'll read his word and we'll say, well, I don't understand that right now. But by and by, That's right. You Have will understand. In God, not in yourself. And you know what God wants us to come to Him with everything. Because what happens with us a lot of times, we put faith in ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we say, oh, I can handle that. I'm, I don't even need to ask God to talk to Well, here's what, so here's, we here's what, here's what the Word of God says that we have to, to get our mind off of the flesh. Right. right. He wants us to and mind things of the him. Spirit. Then when you go down to verse 14 of this eighth chapter, that's what get us into trouble. It tells us, um, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. So we have to be led by the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. not our mind, not our body. I might say all. What does your say? Our, uh, 14, 14. 14 says, for all who are allowing themselves to be led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Okay, in verse 15 now, this translation it says, uh, For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear. That's right. But you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Right. The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit. That's right. That we are children of God. Mm hmm Amen. Yes, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If mm -hmm. indeed we suffered with him, that we may also be glorified together. Amen. So your spirit should be bearing witness with mm -hmm. God's spirit. Right? Mm -hmm. Because the Holy Spirit is the offer of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And That's if we... Saying. Romans. If we keep going by what we used to hear, right, in church and when we in were a child mm -hmm. and, and and all of this, we're gonna be led astray. We will be, yeah. We very will e be. and easily, Jim. We will. Be. And it's my job is to teach the truth. Mm -hmm. How do I do that? From His Word. Mm -hmm. I have to stand on His Word. Right. You have to stand on His Word. Amen. And see, here's where we, I believe we go, just go to what the 28th verse here in this same chapter before Probably. we move on. It says in the 28th verse, it says, And we know that all things work together for good for those who love God. That's right. That's love stick God. and stay right there. Those who are called according to his purpose. So whatever's going on out here is working together for good for us because we, we love God. If you love God. If you don't, then it's not And you don't have to worry about You're nothing. Not you you don't have to set your stuff. mind on them things. You don't have to even be concerned about them. Because in Proverbs it says, pay attention to me. That's right. This is what God is telling He's us. Saying, pay attention we have to, to pay word. attention to His words Amen. and nothing else. I mean, a lot of times, you know, we'll we'll say, "Well, it says this over here in the Word," then it says this over here in the Word, and I don't know why it says this over here in the Word, and then it says something else over we here in the Word. That's because. If we would take our time instead of taking one verse right. out of the Word of God right. and right. read that whole chapter, that's why I'm saying to you there is a time to pray and a time mm -hmm. to say. Yeah. Jesus said to demons, get out of them, right? Mm -hmm. He wasn't praying, he didn't have no prayer meeting. Mm -hmm. Peter's mother in law, he rebuked the Spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a prayer meeting mm -hmm. to the paralyzed man. said, pick mm -hmm. up your bed and walk. Mm -hmm. To the woman that had the infirmity, mm -hmm. straighten up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Peter used the same principle in Acts the third chapter. 
he said for that lame man to get up and walk in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. This is what God is telling us mm -hmm. that if we say to these things mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to mm -hmm. let us alone. That's what he was talking about in Matthew 11th chapter also mm -hmm. and I mean in Mark 11th chapter and Matthew the 21st chapter. Mm -hmm. If you say to this mountain mm -hmm. be removed and be mm -hmm. cast into the sea and mm -hmm. do not doubt in your heart that's mm -hmm. right but you believe those things that you say will mm -hmm. happen you will happen mm -hmm. right that's right we are supposed to be speaking to some of these thoughts that sit in our mind and right. say get out of my mind yeah, just get out of my mind mm -hmm. and like jesus even had to tell peter because um jesus told him he's going to um Jerusalem going to be crucified and mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. And Peter said, no, Lord. Mm -hmm. He said, will you get behind me, Satan? Right. Yeah. He wasn't talking to Peter. Mm -hmm. He was talking to that spirit that was leading Peter. Right. He said, get behind me, Satan. Hindrance. You have to tell to us. things mm -hmm. to get, get out of people. And I'm right. learning to see what my kids... Uh, I'm learning to have mercy on them because right. I realize they don't know everything. They don't. But sure. I'm going to speak mm -hmm. to that That's right. spirit that is in them to get out of them. Right. And I'm also praying for laborers to be sent into the vineyard to minister unto them. Right. Right. And then when I'm praying, right. I'm making specific requests to God with thanksgiving intercession mm -hmm. and specific requests for me. Right, mm -hmm. Even right. For myself. When I'm praying mm -hmm. in public, I'm praying a different way. But when right. I'm talking to God myself, I'm saying, "Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner." Yeah. Right. Because mm -hmm. I didn't do everything I should have done. That you know, and mm -hmm. I'm not doing everything that I should have did. Mm -hmm. I know you told me to do this, but I wanted to do it my way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Forgive me. And plus, right. I'm praying for um, I'm. Not only that I be forgiven for my sins, but I forgive other people for their sins. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm praying, Lord, I have to forgive these people. That's right. Because God says, give me the give me the strength to forgive them right. because right. I'm 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 saying to them like Jesus said on the cross, they know not what they are doing. Mm -hmm. And when you start uh, really meditating on His Word and and getting this in your spirit. Mm -hmm. And in your soul, mm -hmm. your, your body your will mouth. stop doing so many things. These all these feelings will start leaving you because the minute these feelings start hitting your mind, you'll say, "Get out of my mind." Mm -hmm. That ain't of God. Mm -hmm. you, you'll have like a a, um, a doorkeeper at your mind, mm -hmm. and like Paul said in Philippians the fourth chapter, mm -hmm. think on these things. That's right. And if you're not thinking on them things, Something else comes to your mind, you, and you say, well, let me look at the list. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not on the list. Close the door. Mm -hmm. Amen? Now, here's what, <laughs> as we get ready to close here, go with me to James, because we can, what God has shown me that you can quote verses, you can be a note taker, you can be in church every Sunday, you can be in a Bible study, but here's what he says in James the first chapter, <coughs> starting at the 12th, the 21st verse, he says, therefore lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness. Where are we at? I'm sorry. Oh, the 21st verse. Oh, 21st. Now, why, are we, oh. why is he telling oh. us to set aside all filthiness? That means anything that ain't in line with God's word. Mm -hmm. Right. An overflow of wickedness. Mm -hmm. Are we hanging with wicked people? Get rid of them. And receive with meekness the implanted word, mm -hmm. which is able to save your soul. So if you get this word into your mind, that's what you're going to be minding, right? Right. You're not going to mind anything else the same. But here he adds, he said, but be doers of that's the word. That's right. Be mm -hmm. doers of the word. 
and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. Mm -hmm. So no matter how much word we read and how much we pray to God and how much we talk to people, mm -hmm. if we are not a doer of the word, we're missing it. We're missing it. We're missing the whole thing. Then he says, for if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. So we got to be a doer, and we can't be forgetting what God has told us in his word, right? Mm -hmm. so not just a mere listener of it. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and is not a forgetful hearer, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. Mm -hmm. So, mm. we have to do what God, God says, do not worry. Okay, we, we, we're going to cross that off our list. We ain't going to let that stuff hit our mind, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says that we're supposed to not lean to our own understanding. That's yes. Right. So we're going to cross that off our mind, right? Mm -hmm. He's saying that he didn't give us the spirit of fear. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's, That's what right. we're crossing fear out. That's no matter right. what our eyes see, we're not going to let what fear get here? into our he mind uh, at all, and right. especially not, you know, penetrate our spirit. Right. He says for us to be faithful. That's mm -hmm. right. To have faith in God. In mm -hmm. So all our faith is going to be in God. That's right. He's telling us that we can speak to a mountain mm -hmm. and it'll be removed. Just That's like right. Jesus did. That's right. Mm -hmm. like we can tell whatever sickness is in our body to leave. Mm -hmm. When Jesus was talking to Peter's mother in law, he wasn't talking, he didn't have no prayer meeting. He wasn't talking to her. He wasn't talking to the disciples. He was talking to the fever. To the fever. The same way in Matthew the eleventh chapter, he said to the fig tree. That's right. See, when you really start saying what God is saying, people will say, "There's no way that can happen." Mm -hmm. You sound like one of those grab it and grab it people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Or a fanatic. No, claim it and claim it, it and name it. Claim, claim it, it okay. and name it. Mm -hmm. But they don't realize they're talking about Jesus. Right. Because when you really start walking this Christian walk and you start operating as God has told you to operate, mm -hmm. people are going to try to pull you back over to their side. Right. They mm -hmm. will. And it's you have to size God's side of Satan. Pay attention to what God is saying. That's right. Yeah, so if you're word. paying attention to what God is saying, paying attention to his words, when they try to pull you to the left and pull you to the right, you'll say, no, I'm going to do what God told me to do today. God told me to go to school. Right. Everything's going to be all right. He told me to go to work. Everything's going to be all right. He told me that he will watch over my family. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what I'm going through in my mind, I had to learn this myself. Right. My kids, when they start getting up age and they were out there running around and mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. everything, and Lord, how much. God told me, "Peace I give unto you." Yeah. Right. My perfect peace. My perfect. I peace. think too. Unfortunately, when you're given a testimony. And people will still have an attitude of, yeah, but not realizing you're a real person. You're going through real stuff, but yet you're talking about faith in the Lord because it's real. That's the only Problems thing are real. Through. When our children mm -hmm. get into trouble, so they're, they're, those are real. It's but real. what you're saying, you're a real person giving your testimony. Right. But it's something like we have read, a person when they're in the dark. They're in the dark. And yeah, we God is the still dark. there right here for us. To no matter what, through his mercy and his grace, saying, Here I am. Well, here's where you know, come it. to me. When, when my uh, kids we have to study these when things. When my for children ourselves, do so something not, and I get that phone call that, that, you know, something happened. The first thing hits my mind. Okay, this has happened. 
then I tell them step by step what to do. Mm -hmm. Don't panic. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't get scared. You mm -hmm. react, you're going to do the wrong thing. <laughs> you know, just don't get just, child to handle. Just follow the laws mm -hmm. and rules of what what you have what been, been to engaged to with. If it's mm -hmm. a traffic stop, you just follow the rules. If you're in an accident, you call the insurance mm -hmm. company, you do this. If they uh, charge you with a crime, right. you go down there to the arraignment, plead not guilty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, right? right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let them prove what they're saying that you did. Right. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, you're you praying to God, mm -hmm. have mercy on me. That's have right. Mercy. And then he tell us what to do. Mm -hmm. You know? Here's something else here as we close. Go to the third chapter of um, James. Because we are, we're going to be working on this for a while. You know, by paying attention to what God is saying more than what the world is saying. Right. Here in James, the third chapter, as we close, the 13th verse, he says, Who is wise and understanding among you? He asks us that question. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your hearts, do not boast and lie against the truth. Mm. So he's telling us something here. This wisdom does not descend from above, but is earthly senseless, demonic. Mm. For where envy and self-seeking exists, confusion and every evil thing are there. Mm. So he's telling, this is, this is the world he's telling us yeah, about. The, the world, world is world, demonic. The world is demonic. And they do have a lot of um, a good system going deceit. Mm -hmm. Trickery. Envy, mm -hmm. self-seeking and all of that. Then he says, uh, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceful, gentle, gentle, will, willing to yield. Mm. That's important. Willing to yield to the Holy Spirit. Mm. I say willing to listen. Mm -hmm. Full of mercy and good fruits, mm -hmm. without partiality, without hypocrisy. Now the fruits of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Mm. So we have to tell ourselves, are we a peacemaker? Mm -hmm. That's right. Or are we going to get out there and argue with somebody? Right. And, get, and get all into it and be in the We're going to act like the world does. Yeah, act like right. the world. Girl, I'm and mean, I, I get, get what you, you know, mean. like I say, these phones, you can be a, a, um, distracted by them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if you stay on the social media enough, they always got an argument going on yeah, by somebody. Geez, it's, it's and if, if you don't watch it, they'll be saying something about you. Right. And they waiting on you to say something back so they can so say they something can say. back against you. Right. And before you know it, you're wasting all your time with something they don't mean that nothing. some sinner mm -hmm. is trying to tell you about God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they don't even know God theirself. They don't. Mm -hmm. And the devil is a master at distraction. Oh, yeah. He knows how to twist that word up real good. Well, Miss Cheryl, you have a song today for us? Well, actually, there is one. Um, my husband asked me on the way here. He said, Cheryl, did you have a song? I said, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said, but I said, but the Lord will give me something. Amen. And um, and and. And the Lord did. And I don't have my glasses, but the song is called um, Just As I Am. Because Steve said, sure, is it a hymn or anything? I said, because I told him I wrote something down yesterday that I was going to look. I said, I can't even remember what that was. But anyway, the Lord led me to Just As I Am. And there's a scripture goes with this. It says, all that the Father gives me will come to me. And the one who comes to me. I will in no ways cast out John 637. And this song was written by a woman that was real angry at one time. She was, her health was bad, you know, and things like that. And a minister came to see her. She embarrassed the family when he came because she was just tired and sick of it. You don't want to hear nothing about that. 
And he said to her, he said, you retarded yourself, aren't you? And he asked, you are holding to your hate and anger because you have nothing else in the world to cling to. Consequently, you have become sour, bitter, and resentful. And so the writer of this song said, well, what's your cure? She said, the faith that you are trying to despise. And um, the faith that we're trying to despise. Because sometimes we're afraid, I think, to, be, to have faith that be healed or faith for something to change. And then, anyways, right, and she said, I would come to God just as I am. Like, is that right? And, and, and she did. Did her health ever get any better? No. But the way the Lord, her faith grew strong as she submitted and gave herself to the Lord. Good. And, uh, and she wrote this song. And at the end of this story, it says Charlotte lived to be 82 and wrote about 150 hymns, though she never enjoyed good health. As her love, as her loved ones sifted through her papers after her death, they found over a thousand letters she had kept in which people expressed their gratitude for the way that this particular hymn had reached their lives. So God, like He said, He don't want us to concentrate so much on our situation. He, he said, "Put your mind." Keep your mind stayed on him because he wants to use us to help other people. And as we're helping others through our pain, through our, through our, you know, with our testimonies, that's the whole thing. It's about glorifying God. It is. You know, but here it is, y'all. I think some of you all know this. Just as I am. Oh, Jesus. Listen to my daughter. Come on up here, Anne. I don't know that song. Yes, you do, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Just be led. Yeah, to the gym. Without <laughs> one feet. Wait a minute. But that thy blood oh, you heard it was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come. Oh. Now hold it out. I come. Let's do the last one together. Just as I am, thou wilt receive with welcome heart. Thy cleanse relieve because thy song is or how young when we sing being used by the spirit that's amen. the whole point amen it's the same for the lord amen that's it thank you thank you miss cheryl thank you ebony